<clears throat> Good morning. Today is December 29, 2022. It is three days before 2023. This morning, I had a dream. And my dream is about <clears throat> Pamin. So, I believe the Lord is wants me to make this video to warn the whole world about the coming Pamin in 2023. <laughs> so let me okay so this is apostle arnel mendoza and today is almost four o'clock 4 a.m in the philippines so let me start with the word of god Before I tell you my dream, let me start with the Word of God. Revelation chapter 6. So I use this spoon to represent food. Shortage of food. Because we use a spoon for feeding okay let me start with revelation chapter 6 chapter 1 uh, ch chapter 6 verse 1 and i saw when the lamb opened one of the seals and i heard as it were the noise of thunder one of the four be saying come and see and i saw and behold a white horse and he that sat on him had a bow and a crown was given unto him, and he went forth conquering and to conquer. And when he had opened the second seal, I heard the second beast say, Come and see. And there went out another horse that was red, and power was given to him that sat thereon to take place from the earth, and that they should kill one another. And there was given unto him a great sword. And when he had opened the third seal, I heard the third beast say, Come and see. And, behe and I beheld, and lo, a black horse. And he that sat on him had a fear of balances in his hand. And I heard the voice in the midst of the four beasts say, A measure of wheat for a penny, and a three measures of barley for a penny. And see thou heart not the oil and the wine. So, here on Revelation chapter 6, John described what he saw in a vision of the four peace of the four spirits that we rule on earth on the last day. First, a white horse. A white horse. To conquer and to went for conquering and to conquer. So there will be because the white horse represent or the beast who ride who rode in a white horse. is to conquer and to conquering and to conquer so this white horse represent peace but this peace is only to conquer and 
So there is a peace on earth and but little by little it is preparing for war. He went for conquering and to conquer. And then, and when he opened the second beast, the second seal, okay, when he opened the second seal, I heard the second beast say, come and see. And there went out another horse that was red. The power was given him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth and that they should kill one another. And there was given unto him a great sword. So the, the second beast who rode on red horse on the beast, <clears throat> the first seal was opened and he saw a beast riding on a white horse. Which represent peace, but little by little to conquer the whole earth. That means to say false peace. And the second beast represent that was red represent war. So after peace, there should be war in the whole world. And when he had opened the third seal, I heard the third beast say, Come and see. And, be, and I beheld and lo, a black horse. And he that sat on him and a pair of balances in his hand. So after that, there will be a famine. And I heard a voice in the beast. The third beast. Represent the black horse. And he, he brought on him a balances in his hand. So, Paul's peace, then war, and then famine. And I heard a voice in the midst of the four beasts say, A measure of wheat for a penny, and a three measure of barley for a penny. And see, thou heart not the oil and the wine. So, Paul's peace, and then war, and then famine. And when he had opened the port seal, I heard the voice of the port be say, Come and see. And I looked, and behold, a pale horse, and his name that sat on him was death, and hell followed him with. And power was given unto them over the port part of the earth, to kill with sword, and with, a, with hunger, and with death, and with the beasts of the earth. So Paul's peace, war, and then <coughs> famine, and after famine is death. So let us let us go to Joel. So Joel described specifically the last what will happen on the last day. Joel one ten. The field is wasted, the land mourneth, for the corn is wasted. The new wine is dried up, the oil languisheth. Be ye ashamed, O ye husbandmen, howl, O ye vine dressers, for the wheat and for the barley, because the harvest of the field is perished. The vine is dried up, the pig tree languisheth, the pomegranate tree, the palm tree also, and the apple tree, even all the trees of the field are withered, because joy is withered from away from the sons of men. So on this last day, Joel prophesied there will be famine. <clears throat> that is why he said the joy is withered away from the sons of men. So give yourself and lament, you priests. So those ministers of God, 
they should pray they should pray to the lord to have mercy on them first themselves and and the people they are leading and to the whole world lie in all night in sackcloth you ministers of my god for the meat offering and the drink offering is withholden from the house of your god alas for the day of the lord is at hand as a destruction from the almighty shall it come is not the meat cut off before our eyes we are joy and gladness from the house of our god the seed is rotten under the clouds the garners are laid desolate the bars are broken down for the corn is withered how do the beasts groan the herds of cattle are perplexed because they have no pasture yet yeah, the flocks of sheep are made desolate o lord to thee will i cry for the fire hath devoured the pastures of the wilderness and the flame hath burned all the trees of the field so this why they why the trees are burned up because of war god forbid there will be a nuclear war and joel chapter 2 says okay okay so here so we describe the word in pamin how will they go into pamin so in revelation we read in revelation chapter 6 that there will be peace but those Paul's peace is creeping to conquer and conquering so they just say peace 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 but little by little they conquer but then in the end they will be exposed so there will be war and after war there will be famine and after famine there will be death so i did not say this because just to 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 so fear in man in humanity but to warn the humanity of the coming pamin so Paul's peace war and pamin and death so <clears throat> this is my dream in my dream i was lining up to buy a two piece of chicken fried chicken i was outside and there are many people and all those people are lining up for just one store to buy chicken so the line was so what do you call this was so long and when it came to my turn The store owner told me I cannot buy it because I was not in the list but I told him I was on the list it was already settled and it is my second time to buy chicken so he, he looked for the list and <clears throat> he find my name and he give me the chicken and I pay him very expensive for just two pieces of chicken 
and not all can buy without their name in the list they cannot buy so i believe the lord is just warning us for the coming famine this 2023 so after i bought the fried chicken the two pieces of i put it into a plate and we sat on a big table with many people but not all buy <coughs> those who are not in the list they cannot buy but me i was on the list and it was my second time to buy so honestly what the lord is telling me on that dream is that the children of god those christians who live by the word of god will not be affected by famine they will be affected by scratches of famine because in my dream i also i only bought two pieces of ch- chicken and i count my money and my money is not that so many that i only bought two pieces of chicken and after i bought the money i put it in my plate and as i put it on my plate i cannot leave the plate because those around me will steal my chicken but i told them this is for my family because on that table i was the only one who have that chicken in my plate and those around me has no chicken has no plate so they want to steal my chicken but i told them it is for my family and as i was telling that to them some of them get angry and disappointed and so on and so forth but i told them to buy for their own if they have the money they can buy but without the name their name in the list they cannot buy so as i was telling them one of my children came in and i told them to sit down and eat but they did not sit up and eat as if they were not hungry and not interested to the chicken but i told them it is only the food that we can bought on that day so in my dream 
let me summarize this in my dream. My dream. So in my dream, as if the Lord is telling us of the coming famine of this 2023. I don't want to sow fear among men, but like the prophets of old, they warned the people of the coming, what is coming ahead. To warn the people. So, so I make this video as the Holy Spirit is leading me to warn the people of the coming. 2023 Pamin. So, but in my dream, I already bought twice, and my name was on the list. So, it only shows that those Christians who live by the word will not be affected by the famine. They will be affected because they saw the surroundings and the high prices of the commodities. Imagine for two pieces of chicken, the price was so expensive. As what we read, we read in Revelation chapter 6 for just two a pieces of chapter 6 says a measure of wheat for a penny and a three measure of barley for a penny and see thou heart not the oil and the wine. So The prices will rise up on 2023. The effect should be because of war, as what we experience now in Ukraine, and and what is, as we can see in the news about Russia and Ukraine and other countries and China and Taiwan is building up for war. So it will affect the prices of commodities, the oil, the prices of commodities, and <clears throat> I do pray it will not lead to a nuclear war because when that will happen because in the prophet Joel the field was dried up because of burn so in my dream it only shows that Christians who follow the word of God and live by the word of God they will not be affected, even the scratch of famine. They will, they can buy anytime because the Lord will provide for them. Because this famine is only God's punishment for those who continue to live by their sins and go away from God. But those Christians who are in the list, those who repent of their sins, who accept Jesus Christ as their Lord and as their Savior, they became children of God. That is biblical. So,
So I pray that you listen and you prepare. But the first thing to do is repent of sins and accept Jesus Christ as the as your Lord and as your Savior. When you do that, you will be in the list. And when you are on the list, you can buy anything you want to buy, even if it is on high prices. Because the Lord will provide for you and that famine the false peace, the war, and the famine, and the death. Those Christians will not be affected. I did not say that the rapture will come on 2023. Because in my dream, we experienced the famine. So, but does it does not mean that the rapture is on the seven years tribulation period? No. This poor seal or poor beast will happen. But only just to that we should experience, Christians should experience all this, but not for long. So, so I cannot say about the rapture to happen on 2023, there might be possibility. Because some Christians had a dream of the coming nuclear war and the rapture at the same time. Before the, the, the bomb drop, the, rap, the Christians will be up in the sky to meet the Lord in the rapture. So, but in my dream, is what I, I'm just telling you. There will be famine. It's up to you to believe me or not. But I, I do my part. So for me, what the people should do is repent of their sin, accept Jesus Christ as their Lord and as their Savior. That is the best, best prepar preparations. And then... To, to save. To save. Not to waste resources or money or anything, but to save. Because without a money, you can also not buy. So let me end this in a prayer. Father God, thank you for this dreams as if it was real Lord prepare us for the coming 2023 you show us what will come on 2023 ahead of time to, be, to make us prepared make all Christians get prepared by living in the truth by living righteously in the eyes of God not on the eyes of men and to live not a sinful life but a holy life under the grace of God and may those on not on the list those who are not Christians yet, may they hear this warning and may they be convicted of their sins 
and make them repent of their sins and accept Jesus Christ as their Lord and as their, their Savior because that is the best thing to do. First thing preparation is spiritual. Secondary only is the financial and physical preparation. Lord, may this word spread into the whole world and may people be one and prepare themselves spiritually first, secondary financially. Lord, touch all those who will see and hear this message. May, may they get prepared immediately as they heard this. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. So again, this is Apostle Arnel Mendoza. If you are new to this channel, subscribe and subscribe on, on this channel, Arnel Mendoza on the green one. But I also have one, one YouTube channel on the blue one and again on Another one, old one, in J.C. Kruger. You will just find it in YouTube. That was old one. And please also support my Facebook Reels by touching the follow button. So again, thank you, and may God bless us all. Amen, amen, amen.